kind of out to the east in the Peyton area right now. Yeah, yeah, the forward speed of the storm is about seven miles per hour, so it's picking up a little bit more uh, forward speed, so it's kind of moving away uh, from our more densely populated areas. Of course, our neighbors still out towards Rama, Simla, uh, just east of Calhan, still picking up some very heavy rain. You'll notice that severe thunderstorm warning has now been allowed to expire, so we're going to stop the uh, stop the laps here and kind of show you what we're looking at. Callahan just seeing some uh, scattered uh, showers and thunderstorms, really. I mean, it's just looking more so like this is a dwindling threat. Uh, of course, Peyton probably still picking up on some pretty heavy rain. Uh, Ellicott, a cell just to your south uh, that is uh, just a rogue cell that is likely going to continue to uh, move towards the east. What we're really watching now uh, is an area here out of eastern Fremont County. Uh, just checking in on Fort Carson, though, just a lot of frequent lightning, not much else to write home about there. Uh, south Academy and Highway 115, some of those areas. Uh, notice the boundary that is sliding south. Uh, you can kind of notice that thin green line that is showing up. That is a nice little boundary that produces a little bit more lift in the atmosphere. And it's sometimes uh, as those boundaries collide with additional storms, it can allow for an increase in, uh, you know, robust activity uh, because of that lift, that lifting mechanism. So we'll be watching uh, Pueblo West. Uh, notice some of the storms that are developing here just outside of eastern Fremont County and that uh, areas into eastern Custer County. Uh, so those locations will be looking at uh, the possibility of some stronger storms through about 8 p.m. Uh, so just to be exact, uh, that would be right here through Pueblo, Pueblo West, eastern Fremont County, and then down across western of Pueblo County uh, through 8 p.m tonight uh, with still some stronger storms in the forecast. Uh, we've got a rogue cell that is pushing into western Cheyenne County right now. Uh, this is still a good 30 miles west of Cheyenne Wells, so it's approaching Kit Carson County. Uh, possibility of producing an inch in diameter uh, hail, which is a quarter size hail or larger with that storm. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning in place until 5.30 p.m. That is for the town of Kit Carson. As we zoom out, you'll notice there are no other severe thunderstorm warnings in our region. We've got a few storms coming out of western uh, Los Animas County, western Huerfano County. As we zoom in down there, you'll notice those uh, are sub-severe storms, just producing a lot of frequent cloud-to-ground lightning. Let's take you to our severe weather outlook, and this really kind of shows you where our more favorable dynamics are located, and that is towards parts of northeastern Colorado, I-70, and then encompassing just a small area of El Paso County and portions of eastern Pueblo County. Severe thunderstorm watch in place until 9 p.m. tonight. That encompasses Teller County, El Paso County, Pueblo County, and out across the eastern plains, damaging winds and the possibility for hail. Those are our primary concerns. Of course, you'll notice that most of the stronger storms will stay towards northeastern Colorado uh, for the duration of this evening. Six, seven o'clock this evening, still more development of storms coming out of Highway 285 uh, just west of Denver. And possibility of a secondary round of storms between about 6 and 8 p.m. I really don't know if I see this coming to fruition just because of the previous round of rain we're already getting. Sometimes that can help to stabilize the atmosphere. And if you don't have more sunshine to kind of heat things back up, uh, sometimes that doesn't materialize. I will say, though, that area around Pueblo County through 8 p.m. that we were just looking at, that we just circled, that is a location we'll be watching very carefully because development coming out of eastern Pueblo County has got a lot of still very ripe environments to run into. Uh, and that would likely produce some stronger storms around Rocky Ford, Ordway, north of Fowler, and kind of moving into parts of uh, Benton County as we move through about 8, 9 o'clock this evening. So those locations we'll have to watch very carefully. As we go through the overnight hours, past midnight, calm all across the region. We rinse and repeat for tomorrow. 74 degrees in Woodland Park and looking at 79 in Monuments, 84 in Colorado Springs, 89 and to near 90 degrees in Canyon City and 90s across the southeastern plains. You will notice that we still have a decent chance of storms in the forecast for Woodland Park, and that would be moving through Thursday. Now, by Friday, things start to subside just a bit, and then we get drier for the weekends and a lot warmer at that with Woodland Park well into the 80s by Sunday, meaning places like Pueblo are going to be about 101 degrees uh, by Sunday. So not only is it looking like a drier weekend ahead, it is looking like a toasty one at that as high pressure sets up across the southwestern here in the U.S., allowing our temperatures to heat up a lot quicker through the day and uh, certainly looking at uh, heavy rain through Thursday.